shoot. You kidding me? Oh no. Uh, no way. Come on. Come on, stay out of that grass. Oh, golly. It came off. Dang it. Wow. Oh no. What happened? No. Are you kidding me? <sighs> like I said, everything that can go wrong is going wrong. There's one. Feels decent. Oh yeah. Don't come off of there. I got him by just the back hook. Come on. this morning at this pond a little bit later than I'd like to be it's actually a Thursday so the school traffic was a little bit worse than I anticipated but anyway this pond should look familiar I've been here lately a few times trying to get on a big fish one of the big ones at least one of the big ones that I know lives in here been catching a few at night but I can't get that on film, obviously, because it's too dark for the GoPro to catch any of that action. But I've been trying to get on a couple of big ones here during the day. Haven't been able to show you what really lives in here. I've only had a few small ones. So I'm here this morning on a quick little trip. Throwing a little whopper plopper right now. Throwing the real small ones since there's no wind at all absolutely dead calm but still think I should be able to get a top water bite this morning this place usually fishes pretty good when we just got some rain and we just got some the night before last and then actually a little bit last night too as you can see it's pretty overcast right now we're forecast for some more rain this evening actually so should be getting even better the more water this place catches, it seems like the better it fishes. Man, this water is pretty off color though. I didn't realize how dirty it was compared to normal. Water's pretty darn clear usually, but it's kind of off color right now. Getting back to the corner here where I usually catch them in this pond. Almost every time I get bit in this pond, it's back here in this corner. It's crazy, they love to feed back here. Wow, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever come up in here when this was flooded like this and not got a bite. Usually if this corner's got water in it, it is a for sure deal. Wow, crazy. These fish just don't seem to be active in here at all this morning. Kind of weird with all this overcast and whatnot. All this new rain. I'd expect them to be up here eating this morning, but it's just not happening. There is a little creek here within walking distance, actually. That I'm probably going to make my way over to. I haven't fished over there in quite a while, so probably going to put on a little popper or something and head over there. Are you kidding me? Oh no. I just 
just completely blew up this reel by hitting that tree with my frog. Oh my gosh. Well, there's no getting that out. Goodness gracious. I was about to be done with this spot anyway, but that is not how I was looking to end it. Golly, that really stinks too. That is brand new line. As you can tell, that is just fresh green line on there. Golly, I just put this braid on not too long ago. Well, I've got some more rods back in the truck, so... There's another pond actually right down the road that I'm going to try to go to. Try to catch a fish at least and make this trip at least somewhat worth it because right now it is definitely not all right here we are at the next spot got a little popper tied onto this other rod now Let's see if i can get bit in here i've actually been to this pond a couple of times i've had pretty good success i actually lost an absolute giant the first time i ever came here it's part of my lost footage though unfortunately so I don't have any proof of that right now, but hopefully trying to get on another big one here this morning. Turn our luck around that I've been having. Oop. That was a fish right there. Come on, fish. Might have been a big old bluegill. There is some of those in here. Actually quite a few big old bluegill I've seen in this pond. Come over here to this bigger side, slightly bigger side. It's still a pretty darn small pond, but this side is a little bit bigger. This is where I had that giant fish like I was talking about earlier. Oh, snap. <laughs> There's a snake. Just a harmless water snake, but <laughs> a little spooky when you step right up on them like that. Ooh, golly. Just spooked something right there. Hopefully it was a turtle or something like that, not a fish. Dang it. How in the world? What am I doing? Golly, man. Just fixed my bait from being hung up. Threw it right back into a tree. Uh, no way. Come on. You gotta be kidding me, man. This is crazy. What a ridiculous morning. Nothing going right. There we go. All right. Decent little bass. Blew up on that popper pretty good. Golly. Fighting pretty hard for his size. Alrighty there, little buddy. Tried to have you a snack, huh? Happen to have some hooks in it there, bud row. Trying to keep my fingers away from this other hook. There we go. Alrighty. Just a cute little guy. Tried to go up there and smash him a little minnow. Thank you for playing, little buddy. Oh, there we go. There's a nice one. Holy. That one blew it up there. Oh, blew it up there. Oh, nice jump too. Come on, stay out of that grass. Oh, golly. It came off. Dang it. Ah. <sighs> That was a pretty good bass there. I was trying not to horse him because I just checked out my rod and noticed that my last guide here was missing the insert. My line was making a funny noise when I was reeling it up. I was wondering why. Golly, dang it, dang it, dang it. That was a nice fish there. 
like I said, I was trying not to horse them at first because I knew about that insert missing, but golly. Now I wish I would have just pulled on them to try to keep them out of that grass. You got in that grass just a little bit and pulled the hooks out. Golly. That was a pretty nice fish. Golly, and now it's really got me upset that my other rod messed up on me earlier. Would have had that fish on braid if I'd have been throwing that other rod. Golly. <sighs> what a frustrating morning. Well, let's go around here and fish that other side. A little section we haven't fished yet from this pond. And there's actually another little pond right on the other side of this one. I'm going to fish before I leave too. Wow. Oh no. What happened? No. Are you kidding me? Wow. Fish blew it up and took me down into a tree limb. Golly. Are you kidding me right now? <sighs> like I said, everything that can go wrong is going wrong. That's crazy. That was a good fish too. Another good one. Blew it up real nice and then just took me down right into this tree. Gosh, and I'm probably not going to be able to get to this one. Pretty sure the water gets too deep out there. God dang it. Oh. There it came off the tree. Probably broke a hook or something. No, nope, just pulled off, but golly that was another good fish right there I did bend one of these hooks a little bit i'm gonna bend it back yeah bent that one out it's probably the one that was hung on the tree limb golly oh yep just broke it well you know what i'm not gonna throw a popper with two hooks on the back i've got another popper in here i'm gonna put on real quick Man, I was just getting ready to go to the other pond, too. Thought all my luck over here would already ran out, or anti-luck, whatever you want to call it. Bad luck, misfortune, whatever is going on with me this morning. Holy cow. Can't even get my bait in the water now. Goodness gracious, what am I doing? <sighs> what a morning. Golly. Come on, fish. Are you kidding me? What? What is going on? As soon as it hit the water, actually hit the edge of the bank, popped it off and a fish bit it, but I missed him again. Come on. Are you kidding me right now? As a fish hit it like that, and not get stuck first of all but then also not want to come back for more after i miss him goodness gracious what a crazy little corner this has become this is right where i lost that giant that one time too i'm not just saying i think it's a giant that fish jumped all righty well now that we've gone through all that fiasco Finally move around here to where I haven't fished yet. Oh, thought he missed it. Wow. Actually a bass, pretty decent one. I thought it was a little perch or something. No, don't get me into that grass, dude. Come on, don't come off of there. <laughs> Come on, get out of that grass. All right, there we go. I thought that fish had missed it there at first. That's why I didn't even set the hook until I saw my line swimming to the side. All righty, there we go. Just a little dude, but came up there and wanted to eat him a little perch. Stuck him with the popper. Thank you for playing, little buddy. 
thinking my color of the popper didn't really matter too much right now, but that one wanted a perch color one instead of a white one apparently because everybody's throwing a white one here just a few minutes ago. Although that biggest explosion I had was on the white one, but I threw over there with this one and had an explosion too, so I don't know. Maybe the color doesn't really matter. Maybe I just found them in a feeding mood all of a sudden. All right, let's get over here where I haven't fished yet. Actually went back to my vehicle real quick. Change over to another rod. Got it on a spinning rod now here, which is normally not what I like to use for top water. It doesn't have a whole lot of power to the rod, but it's got 30 pound braided line and most importantly not an insert missing on the tip, ready to cut your line. So this is better than what I've got or what I had, so gonna give this a shot see what we can do Ooh, spooked a fish already right there dang it there's one feels decent oh yeah Don't come off of there, I got him by just the back hook. Come on, come on. Eh, not quite as good as I thought, but another fish for the popper. There we go. It's the best one of the day. Still not what we're looking for here, but healthy little sucker. Thank you for playing, buddy, that was fun. Well, looks like that's gonna do it for this side fish pretty much all I can now so I'm gonna go over to the other pond real quick just right over here on this side of this hill see if I can get anything over there well honestly not expecting much it's kind of nasty looking but maybe that'll have them real real shallow trying to eat these little minnows that are definitely up here in the grass you can see right there Oh, golly. I honestly wasn't ready for that bite right there. Dang it. I was looking for where I was going to make my next cast already. Felt tension for just a second. That's why I set the hook, but I don't know what happened. I'm actually going to go ahead and walk over here and fish this other place one more time real quick. Where I had those two good bites. I want to fish that spot again before I leave here. Well, nothing else up in that corner wants to eat right now. And I gotta get going to work, so that's gonna do it for the morning. Mm -hmm.